heart of Edinburgh is the Royal Mile. You have the two valleys coming off the Royal Mile, which one is now the Cowgate, but a lot of people don't venture down to the Cowgate. They come to the Royal Mile, they walk from the palace to the castle, and that's it. They think they've seen Edinburgh, and it, there's so much more to Edinburgh than just the Royal Mile. Thousands of people every day walk along South Bridge. They have no idea what is literally maybe, you know, eight feet below their own feet. They're walking along the bridge. They have no idea there's warren of underground chambers and tunnels and rooms. The whole structure of South Bridge is made up of a total of 19 massive arches. It runs basically from Infirmary Street, up the top of the street, all the way to the Royal Mile, which is behind me. 19 massive arches. While doing tours with members of the public, we take them in to our section and we tell them the history of the place, the kind of things that have happened on our tours to people, and of course, the kind of people that unfortunately had to live in there. Various things have been felt on our tours. Over the years, we've had people be reports of being scratched, kicked, punched, uh, pushed when there's nothing beside them or indeed there's just a brick wall. It can become terrifying in a second. What's good fun can turn terrifying, especially when you get somebody who uh, doesn't believe in ghosts, which it really doesn't matter if people believe or not in there. There is something in these vaults that's not human. This is real. You are really going underground. I have no regard for public safety. I couldn't care less. We're going to be in our vaults for about an hour. So get used to it. If you do feel it difficult to breathe at any point, I have chloroform. <laughs> if you're frightened of dead people touching you, this is not the tour for you. <laughs> if you're easily offended by ginger jokes, this is not the tour for you. One of the characters I believe is responsible for the interactions that people have in the vaults is a man called Joseph Smith. Joseph Smith was a twisted, twisted little man. And I don't mean mentally twisted. He was physically twisted. It was a lack of vitamin D. Now, if you had a problem, as long as you had gold coins, Joseph would try and fix it for you. One man approached Joseph one day. He says, Joseph, please help me. My daughter has been attacked, and nothing is happening to the man because he's a counsellor. He then proceeded to shove a big bag of gold coins in front of Joseph. The man in question was called William Chambers, a local politician. Joseph sent two men out to find William Chambers. They found him. Joseph arrives. Joseph gets the two men that are holding him down. Open his eyes, open his eyes. Joseph had one pointy fingernail. He puts it on the man's retina and he starts rubbing and he starts rubbing. He starts pushing in until the man's eyes are almost going back. And then he twists, he drips, and he pulls. So the eye is left hanging on the man's face with the optical nerves holding it. 